let's say. It's uh, 10 past 12. Uh, ben Jackson with you until 2 this afternoon. Now, within lockdown, there's there's only so long you can flick through social media and, and there's only so many times you can clean the car. Uh, so many of us will be turning to different forms of entertainment, like, for example, jigsaws. Now, one man from Leicestershire has been putting together a series of jigsaws that show images from his Hinkley photographed collection. His name's Paul. Well, and he has a fascinating story. Paul, uh, afternoon. Afternoon. How are you doing? I'm looking really good. Just talk, first of all, talk me a bit about Hinkley photographed. Uh, it's a, a project that I started in 2012. Uh, I've been working for God, a decade as uh, in different sales jobs, and I got my redundant. So I went back to college to learn how to do my hobby, which was photography. And I started the page Hinkley photographed as a way to exhibit the work that I was creating. Mm. And, and it's just grown from there. Look, you've got a really interesting um, kind of perspective on, on not only Hinkley, but, but life in general. I mean, I think it's fair to say you had a pretty ropey start. Would that be fair? <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, oh, I got kicked out of my home when I was like, 16 for being a little terror. And then I proceeded through my life to make all the mistakes you could ever imagine. And it's, it's taught me a lot about the world. And I've met some really colourful characters and it's developed my personality and the way I see things. And and I do tend to see life with a bit of gentle humour and I try to inject that into my photography. Look, you you survived stuff that a lot of people, frankly, don't. Does that does that inform the way you live your life now and the way you take photographs? That it's sort of like a second chance. Yeah, I think it does because of the number of mistakes that I've made and all the manner of things that I got involved in. I've spent the latter part of my life trying to erase all of that and change it to become a better person. And it has, it's affected my photography, it's undeniably, because I see, I just see everything so differently. I'm, I'm pretty sure if I'd have got into photography when I was at school, oh, I mean, I was into it then, but not. I didn't realise I could earn a living from it. But if I'd have started back then, I don't think my photography would be anywhere near as good as what it is now. And it is amazing, if I may say so. What was the, what was the point of doing the jigsaws? Well, when lockdown kicked in, uh, we've got, I've got a little three-year-old girl and my wife, she's a carer, so she had to go out to work still. So I, with working for myself, I just stayed at home. So I've been in for 12 weeks now. Mm. And I've lost all of my work. I, I did weddings, I did a bit of commercial photography, I made commercial films for local businesses, and it's all stopped. So I've got no income whatsoever. And I just started looking through my archives and a company that, sorry, I need to rewind a little bit. Last year, I produced uh, my very first calendar for the project Hinkley Photographed. And it went really well. There's lots and lots of people bought the calendars. And it taught me that I can actually only live to my archives for my photography. From the fun stuff that I've been making, uh, besides all the commercial photography and, and whatnot. So what I did is I looked through my archives uh, and the company I'm working with, they began to produce these puzzles and I thought I could do something here without leaving the house. <laughs> I love, that's how it began. I love it because it's funny how, I mean, jigsaws are always popular, of course they are, but they've become ever ever more so, haven't they? But it's it's and it's interesting that um, a couple of my, my wife loved doing jigsaws. It's kind of like, I think it's where she parks her head, if that makes any kind of sense at all. But um, and I, I, she's just done one mammoth thing, I don't know, a billion pieces or something, which has taken <laughs> about eight weeks to do because she just dips in and out of it. And the thing that struck me was the picture was taken... And it's a newish jigsaw, but the picture was taken like 30 years ago. It's a lovely picture, but it's like 30 years old. It's like jigsaws, once a company takes a photograph, they churn the same photograph out forever. But actually, you know, sometimes I know that in some senses the, the picture's incidental, but it isn't really, is it? Because you get a sense of achievement, particularly if you're doing something about an area or a, or a place that you kind of know. That's it. And do you know what's really taken off for these puzzles is... Uh, in the very first collection, there's four 
photographs that have been turned into puzzles. And one of them is of St. Catherine's Church in Burbage. Mm. And it, while I was, I was studying photography and filmmaking at Montfort University um, between 2015 and 2017. And while I was studying there, we were doing a project called Time and Memory, and I spent a bit of time around my local area in Burbage making some photographs. And I went to St. Catherine's Church because it was quite foggy one morning, and I thought, I wonder if the churchyard will present me with some good photographs. And when I got there, I saw this composition with a cat sat on the path in the middle of the churchyard mm. looking straight at me. And I got the photograph, and that was one of the main photographs in the calendar that I produced last year, and I thought I'll try and see if that will go down well as a puzzle. And that's the biggest seller so far. <laughs> Well, look, Paul, it's, been, like, it's great to talk to you. How do people, if they think, you know what, I've done all the puzzles I've got and I want a new one, how do they get a hold of you? Then get hold of me in several ways. You can go to Facebook and look for a page called Hinkley Photographed, or you can go directly to my website where I've got an online shop. Um, and my website is simply w.paulhands.co.uk. Uh, look, Paul, and if people didn't get that down, we've got your details on 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 hand, obviously, so we can pass them on. But I'd love to I'd love to come and see some of the work that you're doing and how you make puzzles and how you work with that company and stuff. Maybe we can do that after lockdown. Absolutely, yeah. All right, Paul. I'm forever doing this project. I think I'll be doing it for the next ten, twenty years. <laughs> well, it'll be fascinating. It will. It really will. Paul, listen, it's lovely to talk to you, and thanks for coming on the show. Please hang up and try again. <laughs>